Is that the Oppo Find X3? No, it's not. It's the Infinix 05G. And at the time of making this video, it's the fastest smartphone from Infinix. The Infinix 05G is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 900 chipset. It's a 6 nanometer processor, app launch instantly thanks to the fast and large RAM. It has a big battery and it comes with a 33 watts fast charger. Now, guys, this smartphone is impressive in some areas and it falls short in other areas, which I'll get to in a bit. But one area where the Infinix 05G is head and shoulders above other smartphones is in the box it comes with. I mean, just look at the size. Now, opening the box, the first thing you're going to see is the smartphone. The color I have here is called Cosmic Black, and outdoors, it kind of changes from gray and black depending on how light hits it. Now, this smartphone comes with the same ejector tool, a two year warranty card which has a lot of information on it. But the one that grabbed my attention is you get free screen repair for the first 180 days. So, if I decide to crack the display of this smartphone within the first 180 days, Infinix is going to replace the screen for free. Wow. Now back to the box. It comes with an X-Pack leaflet that says win free phones if you download the app. It also comes with one X gold note, a TPU case, earphones that sound really good. Yeah, listen to this. The last items in the box are a USB Type-C cable and a 33 watts fast charger. And it charges this smartphone from 0 to 100% in 1 hour 25 minutes, which isn't bad. Now let's talk about the build quality. The Infinix 05G is made from plastic and it attracts smudges and fingerprints. If you commit a crime and you leave this smartphone behind, you are done for. Now the side of this smartphone is made from plastic and for the front, it doesn't scratch easily. Oh my god, no! Okay, that's just a screen protector. Check this out. The Infinix 05G doesn't have an IP rating, but as you can see, I have submerged it inside water a couple of times and it's still okay. It's still working. So yeah, do not try this at home, guys, but as you can see, it can survive being dipped inside water. <laughs> Now moving to the external features, at the top it has a microphone, at the right side it has the dual 5G SIM card and a memory card tray, moving to the bottom it comes to a 3.5mm audio jack, another microphone, a USB Type-C port and a mono speaker. The mono speaker sounds alright and when you hold the smartphone, the sound bounces off your hand making it a bit louder but man, mono speaker in 2022, hmm. Moving to the right side is where you'll find the volume keys and the power slash fingerprint scanner. The volume keys are a bit too flush with the frame of this smartphone and pressing it can be a bit tricky. As for the fingerprint scanner, the location is very good, I didn't have any issue and unlocking this smartphone is super fast. The face unlock feature is also available on this smartphone and it works well. Now moving to the rear, the Infinix 05G comes with a 48 megapixel main camera, a 30 megapixel telephoto camera, a QVGA camera and dual flash LED lights. Wow, check out that glow. Now switching to the front, it comes with a 60 megapixel selfie camera with a flash LED light. Now let's talk about the display of this smartphone. The Infinix 05G comes with a 6.78 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2460 pixels. It has a refresh rate of 120 hertz and a touch sampling rate of 240 hertz. For brightness, I got a reading of 433 nits and yes, it's somewhat usable under direct sunlight. So what's it like watching content on this display? Well, for YouTube, the color looks boosted. It looks very good. The display temperature is just a little bit warm and the size of the display comes in handy in getting you immersed in what you're watching. The Infinix 05G also supports HDR10 and HDR HLG, but the color looks desaturated when you watch HDR content. For regular content on YouTube and Netflix, the display of the Infinix 05G is all right. Now moving to one area where the Infinix 05G shines and that's in the performance department. It comes with the MediaTek Dimensity 900 processor. It's a 6 nanometer processor that is efficient and delivers exceptional performance. To give you an idea just how fast this smartphone is, check out the Antutu score of this Infinix 05G with last year budget smartphones. I mean, you can actually feel just how fast it is navigating the user interface and launching applications. Now, when it comes to multitasking, the Infinix 05G is also exceptional. It comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM that can be expanded to 11 gigabytes of RAM through memory refusion. What it does is it uses some of the internal storage to increase the RAM size and the result is the Infinix 05G retains more apps in the background. The RAM in the Infinix 05G is UFS 3.1. It's an LPDDR5X RAM making installing, saving, launching applications
application super fast on this device. Now all that sounds good but what about gaming? Well the Infinix 05G comes to the Mali G60 H GPU and that helps in rendering smooth graphics. For PUBG, play the game at HDR graphics and ultra frame rate, the gameplay was smooth and yes you will win chicken dinners with the smartphone. The gyroscope also works as well. Now moving to Call of Duty which is one of the fans favorite, we play the game at high graphics and very high frame rate. The gameplay was also very smooth. Now for one of the most demanding games on mobile, Genshin Impact, the Infinix 05G played the game at the highest graphics settings but that made the smartphone hot. Leaving the graphics setting at medium graphics did the trick and the gameplay was alright. For the operating system, the Infinix 05G is running Android 11 with XOS version 10.0. Hopefully, it will get the Android 12 update. Taking a look at the pre-installed applications on this smartphone, aka Bluetooth, I counted 26 of them and yeah, that's a lot. Luckily, you can uninstall some of these applications. For notifications on pre-installed applications, yes, you do get them, but luckily, you can disable them. Now, let's talk about the cameras. The front-facing camera on the Infinix 05G is a 16 megapixel shooter. Outdoors, HDR works very well as you can see, Edge detection is also good for portrait shots. One thing I noticed with portrait shots is the AI smoothens your face. Ladies will love this feature but for men, I mean I, I personally don't like this. <laughs> now moving to the rear camera, the main camera is a 48 megapixel shooter and the pictures it captures look good and detailed. The second camera at the rear is a 30 megapixel 2x camera. I personally would have preferred an ultra wide camera but the 2x camera takes detailed pictures. Portrait shots on animals look alright but for humans, again, the AI is applying too much smoothening. Dark mode looks very good on this smartphone and it makes a difference. Now for the battery, the Infinix 05G comes to a 5000 mAh battery and it has been solid so far. I got around 6 hours screen on time and I'm a heavy user. And in my books, that's okay. If you're a moderate user, this smartphone will easily last you the entire day. For the charging time, as I said, it took 1 hour 25 minutes to charge this smartphone from 0 to 100% using the 33 watts fast charger. Alright guys, let's talk about the price. Price. The Infinix 05G goes for 169,500 Naira or $300 and that's a lot, no thanks to the depreciating Naira. If you're in the market for a brand new smartphone, I'm sorry to tell you, all the prices have gone up. For 169,500 Naira, you do get a smartphone that delivers strong performance, good multitasking capabilities, it's a good gaming smartphone and it has a decent battery and average cameras. Where the smartphone comes short is it doesn't come with stereo speaker and it doesn't have an AMOLED display for that price. But hey, if those things don't bother you, the Infinix 05G is a very good smartphone. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this review. Thank you for watching to the end. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys with more videos. Valor Reviews, signing out.